How's it going guys? We need to talk about Ampharos. It doesn't hit quite as hard anymore as base 115 sounds impressive, but by today's standards it's not that great, especially when paired with a base 55 speed. But today, after hours and hours of trying, I managed to get Ampharos to do something in a battle. The first battle with Ampharos is against Lazy Boy and the second is against Turtle Owner, both from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord. So with that being said, be sure to Meteor Beam that subscribe button and without further ado, let's jump into the games. Okay, Lazy Boy's put a pretty cool looking team with the Ogre Pond, um, the Grass One Teal Mask, uh, the Del Fox, the Mouse Hold, which is cool. Uh, Suicune's awesome to see, Kyurem and then Alolan Executor again. We've got another Alolan Executor, that's interesting. So. Must be a common trend or something at the moment. So anyway, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Um, Dragapult goes pretty hard against that team. So I'm just going to drop a Draco straight away. And eject pack into like a Bomber Snow or something. Get the Aurora Veil up. And then we get Emphros in and it puts work in really. So that's the plan. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Lazy Boy. So they lead off with Veronica, which is going to be their Del Fox. As I led off with Dragapult. So this is a great... A great lead for us because we can just shadow ball this thing into oblivion so that's exactly what i'm going to do uh is shadow ball the best option they probably switch out if that's the case let's shadow ball um shadow balls should do a lot of damage to the del fox which would be nice so they withdraw they're going to go into probably suicune aurora that's going to be the suicune right yeah suicune comes in nice and shiny you can definitely take a special attack that's for sure it's a very bulky pokemon that the suicune is um, so Shadow Ball comes through and does no damage. We do get the special defense drop, which is nice. Which means this next Draco Meteor is going to sting quite a bit. Um, which would be great. So we want to hit this thing on the physical side, really. Um, so let's go for a Draco Meteor and get on out of there. They withdraw. Okay, so they don't want to take unnecessary damage on the Suicune. And they go into Freesome, which is going to be the Mouse Hole, probably. Mouse Hole comes in. We do drop a Draco, which is great. It's going to do a lot of damage to the Mouse Hold. Doesn't take them out, but it does a lot. And special attack is going to harshly fail a fall, which is great. Um, which means our eject pack is going to activate. And then we just get into a bomber snow and we just kind of screens. No. Yeah, we just we just scare them out of an ice shard. So we're going to Yugi. Like so. There we go. We get the snow up. And then we get the Aurora Veil up. So let's go for the Aurora Veil right now. I'm pretty sure we can take a population bomb with the defense boost we get from uh, the snow. Yeah, population bomb we should take. 10 of them. 3, 4, 5, there's a crit. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, we take 10 of them, which is great. We go for an Aurora Veil, which is double great. And then we go for a Ice Shard and take this thing out. Ice Shard comes through. That should take out the Mouse Hold as it does. A Bomber Snow again, a KO, which is always nice to see. You gotta love it. Veronica comes back in, which is the Del Fox. Now, I'm just gonna go for an Ice Shard, break a potential Sash here, and let them take me out. I don't really mind the Bomber Snow going down here. So we'll go for the Ice Shard, like so. Agility comes through. Ah, some Agility set. Interesting. Interesting. So now, just in case the Agility again will Woodhammer. Psychic Noise, that's going to take us out. I should have Ice Sharded there for some extra chip, but it's fine. As long as we've broken Focus, Ash, we're all right. So they've got Psychic Noise, and they are, they'll have Fire Stab, and then they probably have... Um, oh, wow. Okay, so they're Torch Song. Oh, that's a good set. That's a really cool Del Fox set right there. But luckily, we do have the uh, Aurora Veil up, so we can just go into our Gyarados. I don't think they'll be randomly... Terror Electric with uh, Terror Blast. It's just not really a thing with Delphox, I don't think. So um, we'll go for a Waterfall here, and this should take out the Delphox. Psychic Noise comes through. That's going to sting a little bit, but not too much because of the Aurora Veil. We'll prevent it from healing, which is fine. They also stole our Heavy Duty Boots with Magician. So we go for a Waterfall. That takes out the Delphox, no problem, which is great. So Delphox goes down. Gyarados is looking pretty good right now. We get a Moxie as well, which is great. Crystal comes in. That's going to be the Curem, right? Yeah, Curem comes in. It's going to try and freeze dry us. Um, so they're going to exert some pressure. All that wonderful stuff. Now we go into Ampharos here. We always go Ampharos here because they're going to freeze dry us. We go Ampharos. Or oh, would they freeze dry though? Would they be physical with scale shot? So we withdraw Gyarados. We're going to go into Amphi. Good old Amphi the Ampharos. 
Shout out to Gen 2. We can take a freeze dry. They go for Dragon Dance. Okay, Dragon Dance is scary. Dragon Dance is scary, but we do have the Aurora Veil up, so we're not too bad. We're not too bad. So let's go for... We're going to have to just go straight for a Meteor Beam, I think. We go for a Meteor Beam here. They go for an Icicle Spear. That's going to sting. But it's not going to KO us. Not going to KO us, which is nice. Four times would be nice. Yeah, four times is great. That's great. So now we go for a Meteor Beam, and hopefully we don't miss. If we miss, that's going to really suck. So we pop our... We get our Special Attack Boost. We pop our Power Herb. Like so. And then we go for a Meteor Beam, which we don't miss. That should KO the QRM. It does KO the QRM, which is nice. So we get that, that we get a nice KO on QRM right there. Now, the Suicune can't switch in. The uh, Ogre Pond's the best option, really. Executor. How come the Executor? We are Terra Ice with Terra Blast, so we may as well go for that. So we're going to Terrestrialize into an Ice type. Hopefully this is an Ampharos video right here. Really hoping and praying. There's the Terra Ice. We've weakened the Suicune a little bit, so Thunderbolt should KO. Terra Blast comes through. There we go. And we get the nice KO on the Executor. I'm pretty sure that KOs. It does. So the Executor goes down, which is fantastic. I think they're stalling out the uh, Aurora Veil turns at this point. Yeah, they, they, the Aurora Veil wears off, which is unfortunate. Aurora comes in. That's the Suicune, right? I get what they're doing. They're trying to weaken us as much as possible so that the uh, Ogre Pond can definitely take us out. So let's go for a Thunderbolt. Um, they do Terror. What type? Oh, so they're not terroring the Ogre Pond. That's interesting. They're not terroring the Ogre Pond. Electric. Ooh, I like that. That's really cool. That's really cool. So we should be able to take any hit from this thing. We go for a Thunderbolt. We actually outspeed, which is crazy. They go for a sub. Are they going to sub Calm Mind? They are leftovers, so they, they probably are sub Calm Mind. I didn't think we'd outspeed there. We just go for a Terra Blast here, though. Break the uh, substitute. So Terra Blast comes through. And unless they break the substitute here, we should be fine. We should be fine. Ampharos is putting in the work right now, though. You know what? I've been battling with this Ampharos team for ages, and this is the best game I've had with Ampharos. So there's the Calm Mind. Again, I'm not too worried about this, to be honest with you. Not do not not worried too much about this, um, because we can put it in range to where a, a Terra Blast should put it in range to where they can't accept another substitute. Let's just say that. So let's go for a Terra Blast now. We do our speed, of course. So Terra Blast comes through. There we go. I should take them to range where Substitute will be able to set up. Yeah, there we go. That's that's great. And they go for a Surf, which isn't going to KO us, I don't think. It does KO us. Okay, so Ampharos goes down. Because Ampharos has got some nice special bulk. But that, I think Ampharos did really well there. It took out the Alone Executor and the Curem. So it definitely did well. Definitely did well. It's just this isn't what we're going to use to win the game. What we're going to use to win the game is simple. We just go into our Entei right now. And we just spam Sacred Fire. So Entei's putting in the work again. Entei hits the field. We go for a Sacred Fire 100% of the time here. Even though it could miss, actually. Sacred Fire comes through. That's going to take out the Suicune, no problem. And then now we're all set to take out the Ogre Pond as well. Uh, which would be amazing. So with Ogre Pond being the last Pokemon, we are in a good position right now. Green Bean comes in. That is going to be the Ogre Pond. We just go for a Sacred Fire here all the time. They go for a knockoff, knocking off our Choice Band. That's a good play because it means the Sacred Fire might not KO now. However, Sacred Fire should close the... Yeah, it does KO. It does KO. So Green Bean goes down. That's going to be the game. So GG, Lazy Boy. That was a fun one. I'm glad Amphros actually did something, which is great. So GG. Okay, Turtle Owners brought a pretty threatening team with the Skeledurge, the Great Tusk, Tentacruel's Cool, Roaring Moon King Gambit, and Latias. Pretty powerful stuff right there. So um, we could probably lead off with... Right, what's, what's goes hard against their team? Entei goes pretty hard. Um, Sacred Fire does a lot of damage to a lot of the team. We could lead with uh, Entei, to be fair. They might expect the Iron Treads lead and lead with Tentacruel, though. So we might be better off leading with something like Abomas now. Um, I think I'll lead with Entei. 
and just fire off a sacred fire or whatever we want to go for and then we'll just go for what from there and the battle begins good luck have fun turtle owner so they're gonna lead off with kraken the tentacruel as i led off with entei i said they would lead with tentacruel why don't i ever like act on that <laughs> anyway this is fine we can switch out no problem um we've got gyarados who can earthquake this thing i think we will go gyarados here they might go for a T-Spike or they might go for a flip turn or a Surf or something along those lines. So let's go into Gyarados and go from there. The Gyarados comes in nice and shiny. Gotta love it. They go for a knockoff, knocking off a heavy duty boost, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now we can, if we want to, we can set up a Dragon Lance here. Put some immediate threats to this team. Um, or we can go for an Earthquake. They wouldn't switch Skeleturgeon on an Earthquake. If anything, they go Latias here. So I think Dragon Dance is probably our best play. Or I think Waterfall is probably our best play. I don't think they stay in. We actually outspeed them, which is interesting. We get some damage off and they go for a flip turn. So they're not a max speed tentacruel, which is good to know. They're probably more of a defensive variant. So we could have Earthquake there. Um, but I really didn't think they would like stay in and risk that. In comes the Roaring Bacon. The Roaring Moon. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. So they're gonna get a booster energy, which is gonna boost their attack probably. Yeah, their attack. There we go. So their attack gets boosted. Now, do we stay in an Earthquake or Waterfall or do we switch out? And now, what's our switching? That's the real question. Um, I'd say we have to just let Gyarados go down here. And we go for an Earthquake. So they go for a Dragon Ants. That's why we can't just switch out. Because we need to get damage off on this thing, really. And then, hopefully, a Bomber Snow's uh, Ice Shard can take them out from there. So we go for an Earthquake. So they're going to do a nice chunk of damage to them. Not Nothing too drastic. And then we go for another Earthquake. And see if they terra flying. They go for an acrobatics, which is going to take us out, unfortunately. As rage does go down. It's not the end of the world, though. So we do our speed here. Oh, no, the dragon ants, dragon ants, dragon ants. Come on, Jack. Um, we could go iron treads here. Potentially. Or we could go entei and extreme speed. We've got ways of dealing with this thing, that's, that's for sure. So let's go into iron treads. Go into hot wheel real quick. And we'll just, we can take any hit from this thing because we've got the air balloon, so we don't have to worry about Earthquake. So we can go for an Earthquake here of our own, and we'll see if they tear a flying here. They withdraw. Okay, so they don't want to stay in and take any unnecessary damage. That means they lose their boost energy, which is nice. And they go into Latias, which is a good switch. Um, so we go for an Earthquake here all the time, and it just fails because of the Levitate. And now I'm going to go for a knockoff because I think this thing's going to start calm minding. So I'd rather get rid of the residual recovery that it gets from leftovers. We go for a knockoff, obviously we outspeed, um, that's going to take some damage off the Latias, getting rid of the leftovers. As they go for an Aura Sphere, which isn't going to KO us, that's for sure, it does two KOs though. Um, and our air balloon does pop there, so we are weakened. Um, now, do we sell the Stealth Rocks? They've got two Rapid Spinners. I think we're better off going for a knockoff again. I think um, they do withdraw the Latias, okay, that's good. Are they going to go Great Tusk? Roaring Bacon again. So we get some free damage off on that, which is nice. We go for the knockoff. Knockoff's going to come through and do notes. Then we go for an earthquake. We always go for an earthquake here. They go for their own earthquake, though. That's, that's unfortunate. They outspeed as well. Um, I was hoping they were adamant if they were Protosynthesis Booster Energy. With Dragon Dance, I was hoping they were adamant, but it is what it is. So now, no boost or anything like that. We can just go into our Dragapult and drop a Draco. And whatever they switch in, if they switch anything in, we get a free switch out on. So let's go Dragapult right now. They haven't got a Dragon Dance anymore, so we can freely do this. We go Dragapult, and we just simply drop a Draco. They withdraw. That's great. So we get a free switch on whatever they want. We get a free Draco Meteor U-turn. So Kraken comes in. That's a Tentacruel. It's fine. We go for a Draco. It's going to do a lot of damage. It's a crit. Nice. We love the crits. They're probably specially defensive if that's the case. And we eject pack out of there. So this is great for us. We get a free switch in. So now we can go Entei because we know we outspeed. And we can just Sacred Fire this thing to death. And nothing really wants to switch us into a Sacred Fire except from the uh, Skeledurge. Or we can go Bomber Snow and get that uh, Aurora Veil up. That could be really useful. Because they haven't got a Defogger. They've got Rapid Spinners. Unless they have Brick Break on Great Tusk, which I doubt. Let's go into a Bomber Snow. We're going to Yuki. They definitely outspeed us, but they are defensive, so um, we don't have to worry about them being 
very do much damage to us, if you know what I mean. So they get the leftovers recovery, which is fine. Now they probably go for a flip turn here. We go for an Aurora Veil 100% of the time now. They go for a knockoff, getting rid of our light clay. That's a good play. It's not going to do much damage to us, but he gets rid of the light clay. Which means the Aura Veil is not going to be up as long as we want it to be. Which is a shame, but it is what it is. Um, and then they can probably go into Skeletage from here, right? So they go for a T-Spikes. That's um, frustrating, actually, for our team. Um, as we go for a Wood Hammer now and finish off this Tentacle, it should do anyway. Yeah, Tentacle goes down, which is fine. So Tentacle putting some work there. But we're all right. A Bomber Snow could be really useful for finishing off that Roaring Moon with the Ice Shard. And it can also be really useful for the Latias as well. And they actually bring in Majora's Mask, which is going to be the Skeleton Dirge. And what we have to do now is we'll have to go into... Uh, I want to go Dragapult. I really do. I think Ampharos is the way to go, though. So we'll go Ampharos real quick. They probably go for either a Willow or a, a Torch Song. I think a Torch Song is more likely. So we get the Toxic, which is unfortunate. The Poison, sorry, not Toxic. Um, and they go for a Torch Song, which is going to sting a little bit, but not too much. Because of the Aurora Veil. All in. Um, now I'm wondering what to do. I'm, I'm leaning towards... Oh, the Throat Spray as well. That's unfortunate. So now Hex is going to hit. I, I'm wondering whether or not to do anything with this or not. Um, I think Meteor Beam is fine. Yeah, I think Meteor Beam is fine here. So uh, they are going to Terrestrialize. They're expecting the Meteor Beam. That's annoying. <laughs> so they Terra into a Fairy type, which is fine. Meteor Beam should still do a decent chunk of damage, even though it's unaware. So it's not bothered about the special type boost. We've, we've got Torch Song with Throat Spray. They're offensive, so we won't take this too well. So we're going to go ahead and build ourselves with Space Power, boost our special attack, get the Power Herb, and then just completely do a lot of damage to this thing. No? Never mind. Hex comes through. That's going to take out Ampharos. So Ampharos goes down here. We'll just go Entei, because this thing's clearly more specially defensive, Maybe. With Throat Spray, so I, I, I'm, I'm leaning towards Sacred Firing this thing and then just Sacred Firing anything else as well. So let's go for a Sacred Fire first and foremost. Sacred Fire comes through. Doesn't get the job done, but it does get the burn at least. As they can go for a Hex here, which is probably going to KO us because even with the Aura Veil. No, it doesn't. That's good. So even at plus two special attack, they don't KO us with Hex, which is fantastic. So now we just have to hit our Sacred Fire. Right? Correct. The Aurora Veil wears off. We go for a Sacred Fire here all the time. Sacred Fire comes through. That's going to take out the Skeleton, which is great. So Entei coming through for us again. You love to see it. You love to see it. Roaring Bacon comes in. We can still use Entei with its Terra Normal Extreme Speed. So um, if we expect an Earthquake here, we should go into a Bomber Snow here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go a Bomber Snow and I'm going to try and go for an Ice Shard. They probably go for an e e EQ here, right? Or they could go for an Acrobatics, to be fair. But we should live in Acrobatics in the snow. Should. So there's the snow. They go for a knockoff, which is fine. That's not going to do much damage to us. But the poison is going to rack up on us. Um, now I'm leaning towards what to do here. I'm, I'm leaning towards an Ice Shard. I'm going to go for an Ice Shard here. I don't see why not. It should KO. It does KO from there. The Roaring Moon goes down. Which is fantastic. A Bomber Snow getting the KO. You got all of it. Mr. Overuse, the Recluse comes in. That's going to be the King Gambit. Nice to see. Nice to see. They, over they outspeed us anyway. So there's no point in them going for a Sucker Punch here. So we just go for an Aurora Veil just to see if we can. I doubt we will be able to though. Because they're probably going to go for an Iron Head. They actually go for a Kato Cleave, which is fine. That's going to take us cleanly out. Maybe I should have gone for an Ice Shard there for some chip, but I'd rather try and get the Aurora Veil up if I can. Um, right, so now. Um, we go Entei, and we Extreme Speed here. We always Extreme Speed here. Yeah, we extreme speed here because they probably suck a punch, right? So we extreme speed. Pop their air balloon. They go for suck a punch and it fails. 
And it fails. There we go. So now we just go for another extreme speed. And they probably saw us dance, to be fair. So we go for another extreme speed. Bit of chip. Why not? They go for another sucker punch. That's going to fail. Great. So the snow is going to stop. Not that it matters. And we're going to go down to poison. So we've got Dragapult left. That's it. That is it. So with Vente going down, we've got Dragapult. So let's go Dragapult now. Now Dragapult could burn this thing. They saw we had a jack pack with Draco Meteor though, so they're probably thinking we're more of an offensive set. Um, I mean, our only option is to go for a Flamethrower here, because we can't Terra, because the Terra Ghost is still weak to Sucker Punch. So we may as well just Flamethrower and see how this goes. It withdraw. Okay. And they go into Latias. That's an interesting one. So Flamethrower comes through. No damage, of course. We get hit by poison. We just go for a Shadow Ball here, right? We should go for a Shadow Ball here. So Shadow Ball comes through. That's going to take out the Latias, no problem. So Dragon Ball's making a final stand here. They know we've got Flamethrower. They know we've got Shadow Ball. They know we've got Draco Meteor. They know that we are in a fully offensive set, pretty much. So now they can go into King Gambit. And they will KO us with Sucker Punch. There's Mr. Overused again. The Great Tusk didn't even make it on the field this game. That's that's amazing. And um, we get the Supreme Overlord. A bit more damage. We go for a Flamethrower. They go for a Sucker Punch. That's going to KO us. And that is going to be the game. So GG Turtles. That was a pretty fun one. I did enjoy that. Um, probably could have played a bit better. But you know what it is. What it is. GG.